Walleye back in action for the first time this week, hosting Wheeling. Muddy in the house, first period Wheeling on the power play, and Nick Hutchinson gets the rebound into the net. One nothing nailers. Don't blink. 17 seconds later, Matt Barry answers with a putback of his own. Tie game. To the second period we go, and Hank Hill is cheering somewhere as Shaw Boomhauer makes it 3-1 Wheeling. It's not fun when it's someone's fun name, but it's not us. Under 60 seconds to play, and Barry gets another, but that would be the final fish fall 3-2. All right, thanks. Out here at the Huntington Center, uh, Claire, I tell you what, it, it's, it felt like the first time these two teams would play when it started. Toledo, very impressive second part of the first period. Mm -hmm. They just couldn't match it the rest of the game. They really couldn't. You know, they responded really quickly after the Nailers scored the first goal. Just 17 seconds later, Matt Barry poked one in, literally, just kept poking at it, tied it up, and there was a lot of intensity coming out in the second. We were expecting a lot of shots on goal from both teams just based on how they've played so far this year. Didn't see it as much in the first. In the second, the Nailers just kind of upped the intensity and couldn't be stopped. Yeah, and Toledo just could never match that, it seemed like. Uh, and all throughout the rest of the game. They had their opportunities, but then they just couldn't get anything to actually get on the net. So many close calls at, as far as just being close, pucks just going off a mm -hmm. stick, just wide. They just never could seem to get into that rhythm like they had in that last 10 minutes of the first period. Couldn't get into the rhythm, and especially on the power play. Had four opportunities tonight, couldn't convert on any of them, and it they just kind of seemed off balance a little bit in the fact that the Nailers just kept playing aggressively on the penalty kill, and they had so many shorthanded attempts that kind of make you uncomfortable watching. Yeah, certainly, uh, and uh, that'll be something, and I'm sure the coaching staff We'll definitely look at. Well, the Toledo Walleye have lost two in a row. They'll try to snap that when they go to take on the Fort Wayne Comets in Fort Wayne tomorrow and then back here at the Huntington Center on Sunday evening against Indy.